Welcome to Wearholic guys. Today we are going to be testing the heart rate accuracy of Amazfit GTR4. To give you a quick overview, this is the latest Amazfit's flagship watch and comes with a brand new 4th gen heart rate sensor. Amazfit also claims that it can capture 30% more data than the previous gen heart rate tracker found on T-Rex 2 and GTR3. That's why I am going to test the watch against previous generation T-Rex 2, Garmin 400 245 music and an oximeter. This will help us in understanding whether or not all of this is actually true or just marketing jargon. Besides that, I will also be sharing some heart rate related settings that Amazfit GTR4 owners should know. You can go to the relevant topic that interests you using the chapters provided in the video. Let's start by comparing Amazfit GTR4 with T-Rex 2. I am going to be wearing both watches in my right hand. Along with that, I will be wearing an oximeter on my right middle finger. This finger is known to provide the best possible readings. So let's begin the test. As you can see, results are pretty close. Let's now compare the Amazfit GTR4 with Garmin 400 245 Music. Despite being a mid-range smartwatch, 245 Music has consistently performed well. It offers one of the most reliable heart rate tracking while running and resting. So it's time to compare the two watches. As you can see, results are pretty close here too. All the watches perform pretty well in my right hand, but most of us will be wearing the watch on the left hand. So let's compare only the oximeter and GTR4's accuracy on the left hand. Results are pretty incredible. GTR4 is going toe to toe with an oximeter. One thing is for sure, GTR4 can track heart rate pretty accurately while resting. Now it's time to discuss some of the settings you as Amazfit GTR4 owners should know. First, you need to press the thumbs up button just below the video title. As soon as you will press the like button, it will change its color. And now open the Zep app, go to profile, tap on Amazfit GTR4 and then on health tracking. Here you will find various heart rate tracking related settings. With auto heart rate monitor settings, you can set the interval you want the watch to track your heart rate. You can set it to be once every minute, once every 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes or turn it off entirely. You can also set heart rate alert to get updates when your heart rate is low or high. However, to enable it, auto heart rate monitor settings need to be set at 1 minute. The last option is active heart rate monitoring. If enabled, the watch will track your heart rate more frequently during workouts. While this feature can be a battery drain, but it can be useful for fitness conscious users who want accurate heart rate data. Another setting that I would like to show you is the ability to set the heart rate alerts for workouts on Amazfit. Let's assume you do outdoor running. Go to profile, scroll below, tap on assistant, workout alerts. Here you can set the safe heart rate you want to run at. You can also set heart rate zone alert so you will get notified if you are running too hard or too slow. The final tip that I would like to tell you is to download real time heart rate monitoring app from the app store. Using it you would be able to get real time heart rate reading on your Amazfit GTR4. So what is your experience with Amazfit GTR4 when it comes to heart rate accuracy? Share it in the comment section down below. Also don't forget to subscribe as I will be coming out with my Amazfit GTR4 review soon. With that it's time to say goodbye, see you next time.